this is something different and this is for M fill. For M fill we have uh, 2.5, if the, it is less than 2.5 the degree will not be allowed. And for M fill we have total credit hours 30, 6 of them for thesis, 24 is the coursework and non credit is 0. For PhD this is 3 actually. The CGPA uh, to get the PhD degree is 3. So 2 for BS <coughs> undergrad, 2.5 for M fill and 3 for PhD. And they have 18 credits hour coursework and 6 of thesis and 6, 2 courses of non-credit where the credits are not given but they have to take uh, courses. Okay. We also allow you to have a project and that will be credited. For example, on the BS level, we have 6 credit hours which usually starts in the last 2 semesters. There is 7th semester, you enroll into the project. I hope many of, uh, many of our 7th semester students already enrolled into the project. And in MSc, it is of six, uh, three credit hours, and it is in the last semester, the fourth semester. If your GPA is greater than 2.5, so the requirement is, if your GPA is greater than 2.5, you can have a project which is optional, otherwise you will have uh, ordinary courses, special courses, but these uh, are the credit hours in MSc. And so this is a small project, but this is a big project. And then Phil, as already mentioned, uh, six credit hours are reserved for the thesis writing, which is kind of project, and for PhD also six, the, the, the thesis hours are uh, the credit hours for thesis for MPhil and PhD are equal. But they have a bigger project in PhD, so four semesters are reserved for it, and in this there are only two semesters. So registration, which we have already gone through, but there are certain rules. At least you shall know them. Every student has to register within first two weeks. Some of you have not registered, uh, so I don't know what will happen to them. But normal load for a semester is up to 19 credit hours. This is the normal load. This is a usual question, a very frequently asked question, that uh, how many credit hours you can have. So by rules you can have 19 credit hours, okay, which almost makes six courses and one lab. And normal load uh, for a semester is up to 12 credit hours for infilling. For MPhil and PhD students, little less. And 22 credit hours are allowed only for students uh, having to be greater than 3.5. This is this faster track. That when, you, when we allow you to go into the faster track for the students having higher GPA, we allow one more extra course. But having said this, we also have the rule uh, where chairmen can have two extra courses irrespective of probation. So if we, but this is uh, binded with the uh, fact that if you want to complete your degree in that particular semester, then we can allow you for, uh, for two extra courses. Okay? And if in case of probation, so what probation means? Probation is the term used for if in some particular semester your GPA is less than two, then you are put on the probation. This is called probation. And uh, you will see in a moment if there are two consecutive probations, then uh, the student will be seized and studentship will be ended. So keep in mind that for the undergraduate, the probation is less than two GPA in one particular semester, it's called probation. But for the MPhil and PhD, for MPhil it is less than 2.5 and for PhD it is less than 3. So if in a, you are in MPhil and your, in your uh, GPA in a particular semester is less than 2.5, this is a probation. And then I will also tell you what, uh, what are the rules for seizure. Not more than two multidisciplinary or minor courses are allowed in single semester. So it cannot happen that you, semester, you uh, uh, register three courses, for example, from other departments in one particular semester. So this is not also allowed. Now we come to the add and drop. This has already gone through. Uh, you have, uh, uh, this is the fifth week, so you already have uh, completed this task. So a new course can be added. For example, you have already registered some courses. But at the end of the two weeks, you realize that I want to have a different course uh, or another course. So what you can do, you can add a course uh, with the approval of your advisor, but only in the first two weeks. A course can be dropped in third week. You can also remove a course. You can say that, okay, I went to that course for three weeks, but now I don't want to take this course, so I want to drop it. So it is also allowed, but only till third week. It is allowed to drop a course. A course, if it is, it takes longer than that. For example, up till 10th week, you can even withdraw a course. A course can be withdrawn till 10th week. What this withdrawn means? For example, if you have dropped a course, that's gone. So you will not repeat a course. Okay? You don't have to repeat a course. But for example, 
you have uh, gone through the course, you have attended the classes, you have taken the assignments, you have uh, taken the midterms for example and now it is the 10th week and you want to say that I don't want to take the examination. So what you can do, you can withdraw of course, but on your transcript of that semester there will appear a W grade for that. And you have to repeat this course in, in the future semesters. So you cannot say afterwards that I don't want to repeat this course. Because the W grade has to be removed with some another grade. Okay? So keep in mind that in 10th uh, semester you can withdraw a course, but you have to repeat it in the future semesters. But up to third semester, if you have dropped the course, then you don't need to repeat that course in future semesters. After the tenth week, we do not even allow the withdrawal of the course. Then, for example, if you are in eleventh week and onwards, and you say that I want to, I, I don't want to take the examination, then this course will become a failed course for you if you don't take the examination. 